Welcome aboard the Besetto Express. We'll cover three countries, Bay, Beijing in China, Sei, Seoul in Korea, and To, Tokyo in Japan. Together, we'll explore the culture of Besetto. All aboard the Besetto Express. One of the best gifts God has ever given man, the joy of eating. How would our lives be if we did not have that joy? It's hard to imagine, but there is another gift God has given us, noodles. Noodles have given us the joy of eating since long ago, and there are noodles in the three Beisado countries as well. Japan is called the paradise of noodles today. The representative noodle of Japan is the udon and the soba, which are popular lunch items. Ramyun is also an all-time favorite menu item that we just can't leave out. China is known to be the place of origin for noodles of the three Beisado countries. The noodles of China are usually made of flour and are usually cooked by boiling. Some Chinese people who love noodles even eat noodles for all three meals every day. The people of Korea enjoy noodles made of buckwheat rather than flour. So the noodles of Korea have become a special dish rather than a type of principal food. Noodles are eaten sometimes cold and sometimes hot according to different seasons. Let's find out about the noodle culture of the three Beisado countries. everyone, my name is Sun Min Kim and welcome to Besetto Express. The main staple food of the West is bread and meat, and of the East is rice. As of, East and West have very different eating habits. But there is one type of food that both the East and the West enjoy very much. It's noodles. The Romans enjoy a noodle dish called dilette. And ever since 2,000 years ago, there has been a variety of different noodles made from the East. They even said that pasta of Italy was first introduced by Marco Polo from the East. People love noodles, and today we're going to find out the popularity of noodles. The culture of world noodles started with the cultivation of wheat thousands of years ago. Every country has its own unique noodle culture. The most representative noodle dish of the West is Italian pasta and is known to have found its way from China. Pasta, which means paste in English, refers to all food that's made with flour dough. Over 1,300 different pasta dishes can be found in cooking books today. The most representative of them, spaghetti, has more than 200 different types of various tapes and shapes. If there is a pasta in the West which is regarded as the flower of Italian food culture, there are noodles in the East which have a much longer history. With China, Korea, and Japan, Mongolia is one of the few countries in Asia that eats noodles, and noodles always seem to appear on their dinner tables. They enjoy a noodle dish that's boiled with meat broth, which is high in calories and nutrition. Noodles of the Orient are shaped like long strings. Because of such shape, noodles symbolize long health and long life. That's why if you go to a wedding or birthday party of a little children, noodles will always be served. Now we'll see some of the noodle dishes in the three Besetto countries. In Korea, noodle houses and noodle making tools were developed 500 years ago. For the Koreans who enjoyed noodle dishes as a kind of special dish, the naemyeon is a representative summer noodle dish. The naemyeon dish, which uses tougher noodles than those made of flour, is divided mainly into the mul naemyeon or water naemyeon and the pibim naemyeon or mixed naemyeon. More buckwheat was cultivated than flour in Korea, so buckwheat was a more popular ingredient for traditional noodles.
Naengmyeon is also a dish made with buckwheat noodles. When you add pickled radishes, boiled meat, eggs, and pears on top, and pour in the broth made by boiling cow bones, meat, and pheasant meat together for a long time, it makes mul naengmyeon. The mul naengmyeon, with its floating ice cubes, is a special dish for the winter. The pibim naengmyeon is made by mixing 10 different vegetables, raw fish, meat, and red pepper paste together with the noodles. The two places of origin of Korean naengmyeon are Pyongyang and Hamhung. Pyongyang에서 만드는 냉면은 굉장히 그 메밀을 많이 넣고 전분을 적게 넣어서 아주 맛있게 소화도 잘 되게 이렇게 만들어진 면이었고 또 함경도 쪽에서는 조금 질기게 그러니까 메밀이 고기만 해도 조금 더그 평안도보다는 적기 때문에 면하고 그 전분을 50대 50으로 이렇게 해서 면을 만들어서 먹었습니다. Japanese noodles can be divided into soba and udon, according to whether it's made with buckwheat or wheat. The most popular among them is udon, which is made with broth by boiling kelp, shikte mushrooms, and shipjack fish. It is then seasoned with soy sauce and topped with defried shrimp or eggs. Many Japanese people eat udon or soba as a meal. Youngsters to old people all enjoy the chewy noodles and the refreshing taste of the soup. Ramyun, which originated in Japan, is also a type of noodles we can't leave out. Ramyun was created in 1958. Dried noodles found their way to Japan from China and is now enjoyed by many with its variety of different dishes. Ramyun is also a convenient type of food made by noodles cooked with steam. It gives off different tastes according to the soup it's eaten with. The ramyun soup is usually made with a broth of chicken or pig bones and then adding the unique soy sauce of the ramyun house. The noodles can be eaten right away after only a light boiling in hot water. If you add meat, seaweed, or bean sprouts on top of the noodles according to your taste, it becomes a cheap but delicious ramyun dish. These dishes are not only found in restaurants, you can make them easily at home as well. There are more than 10 different kinds of instant udons and ramyuns in local supermarkets, and even children can make them easily. Let's find out how often the Japanese people eat noodles. Since their staple food is wheat, the northern part of China is famous for its many noodle houses. The stores are packed with many people enjoying noodles during the meal hours. Ever since the method of making noodles was invented around the 6th century, noodles have been loved by the Chinese people for over 1,500 years and are still being loved. You can try some delicious noodles if you follow the long lines of people waiting during the lunch hours. It was during the Tang Dynasty when noodles became as long and thin as the noodles of today. As noodles began to be eaten when children were born to wish a long life, the noodles became longer. In China, the dough is made softer by adding alkali. It starts from one main strip and then multiplies to two and four strips and so on. Other than this method, dough is made into noodles by techniques using the knife. 
and it's as exciting as looking at a martial arts performance. Extracting the noodles is done 100% by hand, and sometimes chopsticks are used. It's amazing to see that the noodles being cut into these exact sizes and going into the hot boiling water. There are over 100 different noodle dishes in China alone. Let's see how much the Chinese people really like noodles and how their noodle culture has developed so well. Making the most representative Japanese noodle starts by mixing the unsticky buckwheat powder with flour. Then, eggs and water are added, and the dough is kneaded into the right stickiness. When the dough gets sticky after it's kneaded well, flour is spread out, and it is wrapped in cloth and kept aside for some time. Now, the dough is made for making the noodles. It is pressed down and spread out into a round shape. Then, a rolling pin is used to roll out the dough. You constantly need to keep the shape round when doing this. When rolling the dough for udon noodles is finished, the dough is about 4 millimeters thick. And when flour is powdered on once again on the outside, rolled up and sliced with a knife, the udon or soba noodles are complete. The sliced noodles are almost exactly the same in size. When making the noodles is complete, the noodles are boiled in water. When the water boils, you need to put in more cold water so that the noodles are fully cooked. And to add more chewiness, the noodles are dipped in cold water before they are drained. The soba noodle that's made like this is generally eaten with shipjack fish broth and Japanese red pepper seasoning. And the changjaru soba, which is enjoyed in the summer, is eaten by dipping the noodles in a sauce made with fish broth, soy sauce, sugar, and cooking wine. え、畑であの秋にですね、あの、育てるあの花になります。それをあの刈りまして、あの、聞いて、それをあの小麦とかと混ぜたり、ま、そのお店によって違うんですけども、それをあの練って、混ぜて練って、で、のして、それで切る。
，这个也容易消化，呃，也容易消化。再一个是这个口感比较好，吃着吃着是尖尖尖尖的，回味无穷。但是这个这个，嗯，配上篓子以后，这这这这吃吃了以后也容易消化。有胃病啦，有什么，一般吃了这个都都没有影响。Other than this, there are other various types of Chinese noodle dishes that vary according to different ways of cooking. The most representative cooking method of noodles is boiling, deep frying, steaming, and stir frying. You can meet a variety of different noodle dishes of numerous tapes and shapes accordingly. The most representative dish made of flour is the kalkuksu. The kalkuksu noodle is made with bean powder, sesame oil, and eggs when kneading the dough, so the noodles are soft and high in nutrition. When the dough is sticky enough that it does not stick on the hands, it is rolled out onto a large shape and cut into equal pieces. The meat stock the noodles are boiled in determines the taste of the noodle dish. In Korea, noodles are usually served with meat stock boiled over a day. Fresh seasonal vegetables like mushrooms, Chinese cabbage, garlic, green onions, and meat are also prepared to be boiled together. These ingredients add flavor to the soup and help the dish become a whole nutritious meal. When the noodles are stirred so that they don't stick together, the special summer dish kalkuksu is ready. The Korean kalkuksu dish. Which is eaten instead of rice during feasts and holidays is usually made of buckwheat powder, flour, and corn flour for its noodles, and its sizes are also varied. But generally, noodles are eaten with either a broth or by mixing in other ingredients. 장수의 상징으로 그 생일날이나 잔치상에는 빠지지 않고 올라갔던 그런 음식입니다. 그리고 또한 한 덩이에서 만들어진 음식이라 하여 함께 먹던 사람들의 친밀함도 상징적이고요. 그 다음에 그 필요한 음식에는 어, 빠지지 않고 이 국수를 대접해 왔기 때문에 어, 굉장히 보편화된 그런 음식이라고 할수 있습니다. The most popular spaghetti dish in Korea these days is called pigeon spaghetti. It's made with Italian noodles with kimchi sauce. I guess you could say it's a combination of both Western and Eastern tastes, but it's very well liked among Koreans who's not quite used to the Western food. But I guess in order to really understand a country, you would have to try their traditional food, even if you're not too comfortable with it. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you again on Beseto Express. Bye. Starting with China, there were only a few countries like Mongolia, Korea, Japan, and Vietnam that ate noodles. And eventually, noodles found their way to Europe through the Arab nations in the 12th century, creating the Italian pasta. But today, noodles have become a world dish loved by all. <laughs>